So today I will be teaching about how to solve for the circumference and area of the circle. The title of the lesson I use for today is Cherry Pie Delicious, Apple Pies Are Too. This will come into play when we more start to figure out what the formulas of circumference and area are. The standard that this comes from is 7G4, and that's working with circles. The objectives that I came up with today, the students will be able to comprehend and apply the area and circumference of a circle and relate it to mathematical problems, and the students will be able to solve for area and circumference by being familiarized with diameter, radius, and pi. So introduce, to introduce the lesson, I would normally show a video from Math Antics is where this guy will just kind of describe what the circumference and area of a circle is, as well as give into more depth of what pi really means. So I'm gonna briefly describe what he goes over in the video. So we'll start with radius. So radius is where you start at the midpoint of the circle and go all the way to the end. So it's basically just a line that goes halfway through the circle. For the diameter, it is basically just a line that goes straight through the circle so it's from this endpoint to this endpoint, and that would be double the radius. For the circumference, it is the amount of space or mass around the circle, and the area of the circle would be amount of space on the inside. So, to discuss pi, he explains that the diameter would not only make up three, but it would have to be a little bit more than three. So if we were to take the diameter and space it out, it would go around here, stop, go around, stop, and it ended up going three times eventually, and it will just have one little space left. And since it can't go a whole four, and it's a little over three, we'll be left with 0.14 approximately. And that is where we get our pi for a 3.14. And pi is one of those irrational numbers, so where it's not a distinct number, but it continually goes on forever. And so I'm going to do a sample problem, how we're gonna solve for circumference and area, and I'm gonna give those formulas to you. You can either write them on a note card or put them in your journal. So for circumference, it is going to be C equals pi times D, which is diameter. Or if it helps you space it out a little bit more, you could do C equals two pi R. And it's the same thing as diameter since you multiply the radius times two. And this goes along with the title of this lesson. So cherry pie delicious. So the C, the C stands for cherry, and then you have the pie, and then the D stands for delicious. And then apple pies are two, which we'll move on to our area of the circle, which is A equals pi r squared. And r squared just means to the second power. So this would relate to the lesson title by apple pies r2. So you have your apple, then your pie, then you have r2. So cherry pie delicious, apple pies r2. So the first sample problem I'm gonna give you, your r, or radius is going to equal two, and you're just gonna plug in to that original equation. So if we have area equals pi r2, what will be the new formula of the circle? A plus two pi, pi times two squared? Yes, so be area equals pi times two squared. So what would be two squared? Four. Four, perfect. So now we have four times pi. Does anyone want to calculate that for me? So what would four times pi be? And then pi, remember, is the same as 3.14. 12.56. Correct. So our answer for area would be 12.56. All right, so let's solve for circumference. So let's say our diameter equals five. So halfway through five. So if we plug into that, to our circumference equation, we have C equals pi times five. Does anyone want to calculate that for me? So you have five times 3.14. 15.7. OK, 
space, so that goes to approximately 15.7. So basically, if you have those formulas memorized, you just plug in 3.14. I suggest using your calculators. Or if you want to do that multiplication, I doubt you do. So we'll just move on to that. And this is where I'll have the students do the individual practice. They'll be given a couple questions to kind of do on their own, do in partners, to where they can kind of just work together and see how each other thinks about the, the problem and how they want to work it out rather than just by themselves. Because I feel like that's a way where they kind of get their freedom and kind of express what they're trying to learn. So now I'm going to go to the closing. So we're going to do a Kahoot. We're going to sum it up with a Kahoot and kind of have just some fun with it. So I'm going to go over here and turn that on. And then the students will get an access code so they can join. And then we'll be able to see the results on the screen. So the code is 848-7681. All right, perfect. So let's get started. There's going to be six questions total, and you'll still be able to, you'll have a little over a minute, and you'll be able to use your calculators as well. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first question, what is the formula for solving the circumference of a circle? All right, good. You guys are doing a great job. So the formula would be C equals pi D, or the circumference equals pi times diameter. All right, so A, you're in the lead. Okay, how do you solve for the area of a circle? who got it right, how did you know that it was pi times r squared? It's on the board. <laughs> yes. And we also know because the r squared, the pi times the r squared, it would be the same as not the diameter, but it's just doubling the radius. And I'm sorry whoever got it right, it is not radius times diameter, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, next question. Solve for the area. Don't worry, you'll have plenty of time. So remember, area equals pi r squared. would be 200 times 96. Since 8 was our radius, you would do 8 squared and multiply that by 3.14 or pi. Solve for circumference. would be 12.56. All right, there's just a couple more questions left. Looks like A, you're still in the lead. Nice. Okay, we're going to solve for circumference again. All right, good. The answer would be 56.5. Here is the last question, so solve for area. Good, the answer 
answer would be 78.5. Awesome, and A is our winner. And that would conclude the lesson. So for the closing of this lesson, we would discuss any questions they would have or anything that was just misunderstood that they would need more explanation for. And I know like circumference and area, they're not technically the same, but they can be easily confused. So that is my lesson for the day.